Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I've got a really cool couples camper uh, that has the ability to sleep, you know, maybe a grandkid or an extra buddy or something here and there. But this is the 2023 Vibe 26RB, RB standing for rear bath. So that's what kind of floor plan you're looking, uh, looking at today. But uh, all the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, all that will be down in the description along with my contact information. And if you guys like RV videos, like my style, and want to see some more of it, uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Help me hit my goal of 30,000 subscribers here in 2023. I would be very appreciative. But let's go ahead and get right into it. Again, it's the 2023 Vibe 26RB, their rear bath model. And this is um, it's a pretty darn cool floor plan. I mean, if you are just that power couple traveling around the countryside it doesn't really get much better than this you have enough size for it to still still be like really a luxury kind of apartment style but it's not so long and cumbersome that you can't get into those parks so you see one absolutely massive slide over here i'm going to give that that super slide status you got your recliners directly across from the tv uh, they kick out and they're on that quick recline so you can actually sleep on them they're extremely comfortable i've tested out many just like this you do the old, the old double tap and it glows up, you know, looking all fancy. A little bit of storage, two cup holders. There's four cup holders on this. You can have four cups of apple juice drinking, no problem, while watching a movie. You're also going to see you have huge open windows, hopefully for a nice view. And they all have the Dracula shades, so you can block out all the sun, keep the nosy eyes out, you're good to go. They got the little decorative, uh, you know, kind of curtains there as well, which is nice, I suppose. Fancy looking little light as well. That's going to be on a clicker. And then right here you have your dinette. So sit down, have some dinner, play some cards, you know, have a good time. But also at night, this is where, you know, the extra sleeping comes into play. You kick out these two metal legs and you drop it on that ledge right there and you have some really good sleeping space as well. Also here underneath, you get some good storage space. So that goes from here the entire length and they have the little plastic totes there just to help keep things organized. Got your bedroom over here. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but this is going to be, you know, kind of your kitchen area. So you get plenty of cabinetry, plenty of storage. Not a ton of countertop space, but enough countertop space. So here's what you're looking at for the storage. That is pretty darn snazzy. Doesn't get much better than that. And then right here, uh, you got your microwave, the Furion microwave. And you got your little switch. So since this is a 50 amp unit, I like how they put this on here. So whenever you want to use the microwave, you simply just flip that. It turns the power on. When you want to use the fireplace instead of the microwave, you flip that. So that way you can conserve energy without blowing any fuses. So really smart switch over to have that. So that way you can still have both and use it, you know, power uh, without any power issues. Another window that opens up, hopefully for a good breeze or at least a good view here while you're cooking. New backsplash for 2023, which I think is looking pretty sharp. Kind of kind of silver kind of wallpaper it also is textured which is nice babe if you're watching i love you stainless steel undermounted bowl you also got your drying rack and the little snake doodad hitting those dishes from all angles three stovetop burner here for the furion oven so the brand is going to match the microwave the oven even the refrigerator it's really well known and high, highly respected you know, RV brand. Another little storage tray there underneath. And you're going to get three pull-out drawers. The top one's going to be a little bit smaller. The bottom two are going to be just like this. That's your welcoming packet from Forest River. And then under here, you have access to your plumbing and a little garbage can. Oh, forgot to show you too. Right here, you have your hood vent. So you can help, you know, suck out the, uh, the old steam or the stink. You got the fan. And you also have a little light right there to help you out while you're cooking. Furion refrigerator. If you guys have seen my uh, videos before in the past, you guys know how much I like these. This is going to be the 12 volt refrigerator, so it's not going to be the gas and electric. I like the 12 volt because they are much, much more effective. They'll keep, you know, everything nice and cool. The freezer section will actually keep stuff frozen. So instead of your ice cream kind of being that buttery texture, you know, it'll actually be a true ice cream. Now on the gas and electric, if the sun's beating down on this side, It'll actually warm up whatever is in that refrigerator. So I really like that they introduced that. This right here, 
This is pretty darn awesome. You got your electric fireplace. I believe it's 5,100 BTUs of heat. So in a camper that's this size, um, this will heat up this entirety of this room, maybe even the whole camper, absolutely no problem on a day that's like 45 degrees, really saving you some money on some propane. So you have that. It's got a couple different color modes so you can really set the tone. I think it has white, blue, red, maybe orange in there. Um, I don't know. They hired me because I'm friendly, but I know it's got at least three, but I think it's four. Got some pretty good storage there. And then you have your TV with the built-in soundbar on the Connex. It's going to be a 40-inch TV. Whew, boom, baby. That's nice watching TV in style. And again, it is directly across from your theater seating right where you want it to be. So kick back and relax. New to 2023, check this out. So you have this right here. You see that little latch up in the top? That's because they adopted the Murphy Pantry, which has become extremely popular on a lot of your fifth wheels. But how awesome is that? You know, you got some stowaway items, some blankets, you know, maybe just some food or something like that. You have tons of space to do it. So I'm really digging that. I think that is, uh, that is highfalutin. Got your AC right here and it does have the dump valve. So if you guys are watching a movie and you want this area to get cooler, open that up. Let it disproportionately push all the cool air into here or close it and let it evenly disperse its way uh, through the track system. A little place for some hanging items with little octopus doodads right there. Just waiting for a, for a friend to hang on them. Outlet right down here. More storage. So there's a ton of storage. Some of it hidden, some of it not. And then down below, you got your fuse box. So if something's not working, like let's say the slide is kind of sticking on you, uh, you check out the fuse box, make sure everything is good there. But the, uh, the, this is the 26RB, so the rear bath. This is supposed to be the shining star, and this is an absolutely massive, massive bathroom. So you have your foot flush toilet right there with your little TP rack, tons of storage. That's going to be both left and right, or both going to be massive. I mean, check that out. It's going to be the same right below me. A little window. More storage. Going to be the same there underneath. Access to your plumbing and storage here. Uh, good countertop space on either side. Two outlets. You got a little mirror. Hello. There's the old bowling gun baby. Crushed it again this week. We started a new league two weeks ago. We should uh, already be absolutely dominating, so I'm excited for that. Another little octopus guy. And then I like how they put in this little fan right here. Yeah, to kind of help suck out the steam or the stink of a different kind. But then you got this shower. Now, the shower is nice. I'm a bigger guy. I'm six feet tall, 290 pounds. I'm definitely a round belly. But I fit in this absolutely no problem. Let's use the help of the mirror over there. And as you can, well, eh, man. let's turn it this way. So you can see, you know, I'm no flat belly guy. Definitely got a little bit of, now it's going down though. It is definitely going down. But I fit in here no problem. All right, now let's head up into, I'm thinking right there, that could be a good thumbnail. Now let's head up into the bedroom, then I'll go around the outside, show you where everything is. But if you guys have made it this far, if you don't mind, like and subscribe, that'd be uh, very appreciative. You got your queen bed, solar charge controller to let you know what the solar panels are doing up on top. You also got a little outlet. An emergency exit, so pull, push, and pop. You can get out in a hurry, but hopefully it's just for a good view. Hanging closet right here to the uh, to the left. It's going to be the same as the one on the right, and on both sides. Let me zoom in here. USBs and outlets with a little shelf, so you can put in like a CPAP machine or something like that. So same storage over there. Another window, a place for a TV backer. There are some lights I didn't turn on, but. That's okay. Uh, but you got a TV backer right over here so you can hang up a TV on a swivel. And you got the appropriate outlets there as well and your King Wi-Fi Connect. Um, so you can call up like AT&T or Verizon or something like that. You know, put some 5G or 4G LTE, you know, in here for sure. A little bit of storage there up under the bed. But I think that about does it here for the inside portion. Uh, again, 2023 Vibe 26RB, their rear bath model. Now we'll go around the outside, kind of show you where all the dump valves are, you know, and all that good stuff. And then I'm going to head home, probably surprise the lady with a little bit of maybe a fancier dinner. We got the kiddos. They're gone. 
Maybe grill out some steaks. That just sounds lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, before we go out, this is the control center. So your awning, your slide out, your lights, your tank heaters, water pumps, and all your tank levels right here as well. So you're good to go all in one central spot. All right, so again, the specifications of this unit, tank sizes, awning sizes, length, weight, height, will be down in the description of this video. But as you can see, an absolutely massive awning. I'm gonna guess probably, probably 20 feet, something like that, but you'll definitely have to check down there. I will post it. But you got the LED lights that are running underneath, your solid entry steps, back end of the hot water heater. And you can see there's also power stabilizing jacks. So with a click of a button, you know, extend and retract really nice and easy. Dual axle with the wide stance, so it just makes driving just that much smoother. You know, if you hit a pothole up here, it doesn't really affect that back one right away, so it makes it really nice and even kind of as you're hitting those potholes. Cable hookup and outlets right here. You got yourself a mini, I don't know if you'd call it like an outdoor kitchen, but um, outdoor kitchen-esque. You got a little apple juice cooler out here, fits you in a 24-pack of those bad boys, absolutely no problem. A little dump sink, you know, which I put my camera gear in. And what I like about it, it's also got a spray port, so you also have some access for some water. Those blue glowing lights right there, those are gonna be your speakers. So that's gonna be the zone B. So inside and outside, you can get the camper bumping. Your other set of power stabilizing jacks with a little view here of the pass-through storage. And you can see, also see that aluminum, you know, construction. Sorry for the squeaking. Had a lot of rain today, and letting some of the uh, letting some of the water out of the tanks after we got done prepping it. Bumper with spare tire. You also got your cable and satellite hookups back here. Uh, you'll also see that black little box. That means it is prepped for the rear observation camera. So, 550 bucks suction cup that bad boy right onto your windshield. You can see what's going on behind you with some distance markers as you're driving down the road. You also have the Lippert on the go ladder system, so you can purchase that on Lippert's website. 285, 295 bucks uh, gets you a telescoping ladder so you can get on top of your fully walkable roof, check your seals, check your slide. You know, you'll be good to go maintenance wise. Also speaking of your slide, for $700, you can put on a slide topper, which is a piece of awning that goes from here to here and prevents debris from falling on top of the RV, uh, on top of the slide of the RV. And then when you pull it in, you know, it rolls off the top so you don't have like a tree branch bust into that seal. It's definitely money well spent in my opinion. Outside shower with hot and cold water access, so that's always nice. You know, spray yourself off if you're getting a little bit dirty. City water connection and the black tank flush, which is a uh, sprinkler system there for your poop tank. Knock all that dirty stuff right off the edges. You're good to go. That's your 30 amp plug-in. This is going to be your sewer uh, dump valve right there. You can also show off a little bit of that underbelly. Heated and enclosed. Fresh water connection, other side of the pass through storage. Battery disconnect up front. We're going to provide you with propane, battery, uh, power cord. You're also going to get a power tongue jack here for this model. LED lights up the front. But guys, I think that about wraps it up. Again, this was the 2023 Vibe 26RB, the rear bath model. My name is Hunter. Hope you guys have a good night. See ya. Meh, 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 meh.